Welcome everyone to Ms. Gillum's Tutorials. In this tutorial video, we will be using bar models to help us solve percent problems. I try to think of a joke for percent, but I couldn't think of one for this video, so if you know one, leave it in the comments and maybe I will add it at a later time. Well, let's get started solving percent problems. Let's start by looking at benchmark percents. These are the percents that will help us be able to get to other percents that may not be as easy to find using a bar model. So if we look at 1%, we should think that there are 101% in 100%. This means that 1% 1 is 1 one hundredth of 100%. Next, we have 10%. We should know that 10, 10% 10 equals 100%. So that means 10% is 1 tenth of 100%. 20%, there are 5 20% and 100%. So that means that is 1 fifth of 100%. And then 25%, there are 4 25% and 100%. So that means 25% is 1 fourth of 100%. I found this great visual that may help you see how to break down a bar when we are doing the bar models. Um, feel free to pause the video, take a closer look. Definitely look at the fractions. The fractions will tell you how to break the percent down into a problem. Um, I found this image um, at Ms. Warner's website. Um, I've linked it at the bottom if you want to see it and see what else she may have on her website that may be helpful. Let's start with example one. What is 30% of 60? The first things I always do when I'm using a bar graph is I put in my 0% and my 100%. And I read the problem again. What is 30% of 60? Well, so if I wanted to know what 100% of 60 is, that would be 60. And if I wanted to know what 0% of 60 is, that would be 0. Next, we have to determine what benchmark should we use if we're trying to find 30%. Well, I know that three 10 percent would give me 30%. So I'm going to break this down into 10%. And from the previous slide, we should know that 10% is 1 tenth of 100%. So I'm going to break this bar down into 10 sections. So I'm going to start with my half. So now I have two sections. And then I'm going to break this down the rest of the way. Um, I'm sorry if my lines are not very straight. Um, and they're not going to be equal because I'm doing this with my hand. Okay, so now I've broken it into 10 sections. And now I can write down my percents. This would be 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and we already have our 100. So now we have to think, think about proportions that we've been using in class. So we, how can I get from 100% to 10%? I would divide by 10. I would scale it down to 10. So we would have to do the same thing for 60. Divide by 10, which would give me 6. So I know 10% is 6. So to get 20%, I would need to double it. So that would be 12. To get 30%, I would need to triple 10%, which would be 18. And I could keep going if I wanted to fill out the entire number line. Because all it simply is doing since 10% is 6 is each time I go up 10%, it's going to go up 6. So I could finish my entire number line. And this also helps you check your answer because you should be able to get to your 100%. But we wanted to know what 30% was. So if I look here at my bar, it says 18 is 30%. So my final answer would be that 18 is 30% of 60. Let's take a look at example number two. There are 30 students in this mathematics class. 40% of the students are car riders. How many are car riders? So always start with putting in your 0% and 100%. So in this question, 100% of this mathematics class would be 30 students. And 0% of mathematics class would be 0. 
Next, we have to look at what the question's asking. It says 40% of the students are car riders. How many are car riders? So we're looking for 40%. So once again, we need to go back to those benchmarks. We have 1%, 10%, 20%, 30%. And 25% as our benchmarks. In this case, I would use the 20% because 20% plus 20% would give me the 40%. So if I remember, 20% is the same as one fifth of 100. So I need to break this number line into five sections. Um, so one, two, three, four, and five. So now I know that this is 20%. 40%, 60%, 80 Next, we have to think, how do I get from 100% to 20%? Well, we divide by five, because we broke it into five sections. So we also need to do that with the 30, divide by five. So 30 divided by five will give me six. But we're trying to get 40%, so to go from 20% to 40%, I would need to times it by 2. So I would have to do the same thing on top, times it by 2, which gives me 12. And if I needed to continue this, if I remember that every 20% I'm adding 6, I could continue the number line. But the question in this problem says 40% of the students. So I go to 40% and I see that it is 12. So my answer would be that 12 students are car riders in this problem. Example three, 40% of Lincoln Span students play brass instrument. 28 students play a brass instrument. How many students are in the band? So this one, we are trying to find the whole because they wanna know how many students are in the band. So once again, we're still gonna start by putting our 0% and our 100%, but this time we are not sure what our 100% is. But we do know that 40% of Lincoln students play a brass instrument, and that is 28%. So on this problem, you want to think about breaking it up first. So you're going to kind of estimate about where 40% is. So we're going to say that this is about 40%, and that is 28 students. So I would need to simplify this down to a percent that would help me get to 100. So what if I wanted to find 20% and I knew 40%? To get from 40% to 20%, I divide by 2. So I would have to do the same thing on the top. 20 divided by 2 would give me 14. Now that I know this, now I can use that to get to 100%. 20% to 100% is times 5. So 14 times 5 would give me the band amount. And we know that 14 times 5 is 70. So there are 70 students in Lincoln's band. So all we are using to solve these problems is proportions. Um, some of you might want to actually set up the proportions to solve these if the number line is too busy for you. I will make another video where I'm solving it just using proportions. You've made it to the end of the video. I hope this video has helped you be able to use the bar model to understand the percent problems a little better. Um, I know I have some students that love the bar model, but then I have other students that prefer a different method. Remember, math is not about just finding one way to solve a problem. There are many ways to solve problems. There's not just one right way. Well, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.